What is computer science and what does the field of computer science entail? How can you be a computer scientist? Is computer science programming? The world of computer science and software engineering is diverse and greatly varied. The role of the computer scientists are more important than ever in today's society. Computer scientists use programming languages as their tools to communicate their ideas and make them into a reality. These computer languages can be anywhere from low-level languages, such as assembly to program the hardware components, all the way to high-level languages, such as JavaScript, C++, Java, Python, and many other languages that are the back-end and front-end of many software packages. Although programming languages happen to be the most important tools that a computer scientist uses, it just remains as that, just a tool. The misconception of programming and computer science relationship often confuses people. I have heard many refer to computer science as a programming major or computer science students and graduates as a programmer. Perhaps the misconception comes from the fact that most CS students are competent programmers and probably know more than one language, but that is not because all they learn or do is programming. As a computer science major, you can expect the first couple of classes you take to cover fundamentals of programming utilizing a language of the department's choice, usually based on the market demand. And that is solely due to the fact that they need to be equipped with the right tools to be able to test their hypothesis design algorithm in their other classes. Most of them learn other languages on their own, and that's because they realize that languages are just a syntax. Once you learn the fundamentals of programming and truly understand the concepts, you can learn most languages on your own. Here's a little example of what you can expect in an undergraduate degree in computer science. You will mostly be required to take courses such as data structure and algorithm, machine organization and assembly, computer architect, operating system, data modeling and applications, software engineering, and many more. You probably will take a lot of math as well. Math such as discrete math, calculus, uh, some department even require you to take differential equation and matrices. I'm here today to tell you that computer science is not just programming. Programming and programming languages, however, are an important tool that computer scientists use on a regular basis. From your alarm clock in the morning to switching on your coffee machine to most of the things around you and most of your daily activities and apps you use throughout the day, there is a computer scientist involved. As the human needs for technology rises rapidly, the need for computer scientists and software engineers are also on the rise in a parallel paradigm. So what does the world of computer science entail? Please note that many of the fields that we will be mentioning in this video are multidisciplinary and interconnected. And there may be more than one way to get there. However, for the purpose of this video, we will focus on exploring these fields from a computer science point of view. Let's start by software development. There are two main kinds of software, system software and application software. System software, which happens to be the most important software in the computer, is the operating system, which is what we interact with and controls all the other application software we run on our devices. Engineering a robust and decent operating system is a daunting task and a huge challenge that involves many software engineers and computer scientists. This brings me to application software, which can be web-based or computer-based. Utilizing critical thinking and creativity, computer scientists and software engineers design meticulous algorithms and write numerous instructions using available programming languages to turn their ideas into reality and solve real-world problems. Software developers are usually broken down into three categories. Back-end developers, who are usually responsible for design, algorithm, and integration of software while writing the web services and APIs. And front-end developers are responsible for adding visual elements that users see and interact with. And full-stack developers are those who have the knowledge of both back-end and front-end. Now, developing a software is one thing. But the research, design, and algorithm behind those software make the world of computer science interesting. 
Let's start by talking about one of the most talked about fields of computer science called data science and cloud computing, which in a way they go hand in hand. Cloud computing relies mostly on shared computing resources rather than having local servers with purpose of promoting data processing over a cluster of computers in cyberspace rather than local devices. Python, SQL, and Erlang are among top languages used in cloud computing. In short, data science is a multi-interdisciplinary field that utilizes scientific method, algorithm, processes, and systems to fully examine and understand both structured and unstructured data. Many different fields of computer science falls under the umbrella of data science. These fields include but are not limited to, for example, forensic science which include computer forensics as well, and it involves finding and analyzing data evidence to solve crimes. Data processing, big data, and data mining, which are important fields in discovering patterns in large sets of data. Advertising companies rely greatly on this. An example of this is when advertisement companies study purchase behaviors of their customers to refine their advertisement to them. Next is optimization and graph theory, a process of modifying a software system to make it work more efficiently with fewer resources. Many industries and companies such as finance companies, insurance companies, travel agencies, Amazon warehouses, and many more can greatly benefit from modern optimization and graph theory. Bioinformatics and biomedical computing is another important field which is combining computational biology with computer science. Scientists analyze and interpret biological data through bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is used in projects such as Genome Project. Researchers use bioinformatics to identify genes, establish their functions, and develop gene-based strategies for preventing, diagnosing, and treating diseases. Python and Java are among top sought-after languages in bioinformatics. This is such an important field in medicine that NIH, CDC, MD Anderson, Mayo Clinic, and many other medical entities have a whole department dedicated to bioinformatics and biomedical computing research. Computer visualization, which is the use of interactive and sensory representation of abstract data to emphasize cognition, hypothesis building, and reasoning. Scientists, architects, engineers for space planning or biomedical applications rely heavily on computer visualizations. Next, pattern recognition, which involves finding similarities or patterns among smaller problems that can help us solve more complex problems efficiently. Pattern recognition has application in a statistical analysis signal processing, biomedical image analysis, bioinformatics, computer graphics, and many, many other related fields. Artificial intelligence, which in itself has many different fields. Among those are computer vision, machine learning, natural language processing, and knowledge representation, which provides systems the ability to automatically learn and improve experiences without being explicitly programmed. For example, computer vision trains machines to interpret and understand the visual world. Using digital images from cameras, videos, and deep learning models, computers can accurately identify and classify objects and further react to what they see. Fascinating. Now this brings us to neural networks, which is a fascinating biological inspired programming paradigm enables the computers to learn from observational data using a powerful set of techniques such as deep learning. Many companies such as Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and many more are investing more and more in neural networks to solve various business problems. Another application of artificial intelligence is robotics which train devices to move and react to sensory input. These mentioned fields are very important in today's society and in survival of many, many companies. To name a few, for example, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Oracle, Apple, and many more. Here is just a little statistics to put the importance of these fields into perspective. According to DiffBot in 2020, Microsoft had over 1,600 high-level data employees. When I say high-level data employees, that means it can be any of the mentioned fields. 
Facebook had over 1,100. IBM had over 1,200. If you're interested in becoming a computer scientist and specializing on any of the mentioned data science fields, then you may want to consider starting by getting your bachelor degree in computational fields such as computer science and then branching out to your favorite fields, enhancing your skills in more than one area while backing it up with few powerhouse languages such as C++, SQL, Java, JavaScript, Python, and modeling languages makes you an ideal candidate when you're seeking a job. Next big computer science related topic in today's world is cybersecurity and ethical hacking. First, let's talk about the difference between cybersecurity and ethical hacking. Cybersecurity pretty much means to protect your software system and network against malicious attacks. And ethical hacking is a security and penetration testing on your own system or software to find all the vulnerabilities following all cyber laws. If you're interested in the field of cybersecurity, you probably want to start with a bachelor in cybersecurity or computer science. Knowing multiple sought-after programming languages such as JavaScript, HTML, Python, C++, Assembly, PHP is a huge plus as well. You may also want to enhance your education with highly valued certifications in cybersecurity fields such as CEH, CISSP, or any security-related GIAC certification. Networking is another important area which enables computers and devices to be connected to each other on a local area network, like your home or office, or to a larger network like internet or a private wide area network. If you're interested in becoming a network administrator, then you may also want to invest in certifications such as CompTIA A+, CompTIA Network+, Cisco CCNA, Cisco CCNP, MCSA, or MCSE. Knowing general purpose languages such as Python or modern language such as Go or Bash which usually comes with Unix based system and of course JavaScript and Perl is a big plus. Other highly sought after areas of computer science are computer graphics and virtual reality which involves creating realistic and very detailed images and graphics. Games and movie industries rely heavily on these fields of computer science. If you are interested in becoming a game developer or develop animation software, one way is to start with getting your bachelor in computer science while following your desired specialization as elective courses as part of your CS degree. Knowing highly sought after programming languages in game development is important as well. Here is a little FYI on what programming languages have been reported to be involved in today's gaming and animation industry. For example, Minecraft was reported to be written in Java. Fortnite and League of Legends was reported to be written in C++. Adobe Character Animator was also reported to be written in C++. Further, many VR software companies reported that they use C Sharp and C++ in their VR development. Although I can go on and on, I will stop here in hopes that this video helped you visualize the field of computer science and helped you understand the academic routes and paths to mention fields. Even though there are many different areas, from operating system to apps and software development to data science, cloud computing, forensic science, data processing, big data, data mining, optimization, graph theory, bioinformatics, biomedical computing, computer visualization, pattern recognition, neural networks, artificial intelligence, computer vision, machine learning, natural language processing, knowledge representation, robotics, to cybersecurity, ethical hacking, computer networks, computer graphics, animation, virtual reality, they all share one thing in common, and that is that they represent the science of computers, aka computer science.